again to my youtube channel it's your baby girl kasi i hope and believe everybody is doing so fine i am doing very well myself so in today's video i'm here to talk about my visa interview questions and how that day actually went i'm gonna spill it all for you to hear so um if you applied for a school uh, maybe to germany i don't know for other countries i just know for germany so if you apply to a school here and then you get the admission you have to go for a visa interview and so i booked my appointment and then i had to go for the interview early in the morning i think it was stated on the paper around 8 30 a.m so i had to go early because our heather was like you know cute and all of that so i went there early i think around five i was there <laughs> five a.m then nine i couldn't sleep because i had running stomach i ate jollof um a, a night before the interview and i don't know whether it was the spices i don't know what actually happened i had a serious running stomach that night um so when I was going for the interview, the only prayer I prayed to God was, God, please hold my tummy. Let me finish with my interview before any other thing else. And actually, he listened to my prayers. Even though I wasn't feeling very okay, but at least it was better when I, I, went, I went there. So I went there in, early in the morning around 5 a.m. Luckily for me, I got missing though, but then someone showed me the red. You read, you know that I reached that two German embassies. So the first time I went, it wasn't that one. And then they directed me. It was just like a walking distance. So I walked to the place. And then I think I met like 10 people there that early, early morning. So you can imagine just that. Um, I think I was the fourth person to enter. So what happened was, I didn't actually know when I submitted my documents. So some of the documents that you need for your visa interview is the, your WASC, your BEC certificate, your date of birth um, certificate, your, your block account. Mine was a block account. I don't know about the obligation letter, so I can't talk about it. Mine was a block account, so I needed a block account. My sponsorship letter, I mean, the one who is sponsoring me, um, his, his, I mean, his, the letter and also his statement, bank statement, plus a block account, your English proficiency letter, uh, transcript, your BC certificate. Ah, uh, I think that's all. And then, those are those were the document that was and your passport of course yeah your passport and a passport picture so those were the things i took to the place now i'm hearing where you're going you have to submit your insurance i personally added my insurance to it but i was asked to submit it to the second one but now i heard um those who've been going they submit their insurance as well but i don't know for that i personally did it wasn't part of my request but I, I added my provisional um, insurance to it and then I went so um initially I left my BEC certificate so when I entered the room the woman asked me about my BEC and I was like oh I didn't bring it but then later I had to come back and then you know bring the BEC set I brought it I mean I think three days later I mean my dad sent the document so I submitted it two days yes two days after my interview and then that was it so um now let me talk about the interview questions so some of the questions she asked me was about the the very first question she asked me no before my interview i mean i was the fourth person to go for the interview that day so the three people that went in the very first guy came out and we asked him what happened his face didn't look fine to me 
And so I asked him how far, and she he was like, mm, it, was, it didn't really go well, but it was okay. I mean, it wasn't like a positive vibe for me from the very first guy. The second person was a woman. She went and it was like the same thing. The third guy didn't get the chance to ask him. So I was the fourth person and then I entered. I mean, apparently, the one is not smiling. <laughs> she wasn't smiling at all. And, and don't think they don't look at you. They are not looking at your face. She's focused on the PC while she's using. She's actually watching you. I don't know how, but yeah, she is watching you. So don't think whatever. Maybe if you go there, you think, okay, she's not looking at me. She can't do anything that you want to do. No. And hey, if you're going to, I, I feel like, okay, I'm going for an interview. I have to dress like, no, no, no. Please do just your normal, simple dress and then just go. You don't need to dress because, like, you just stand. You're not going to say, they're not going to look at your full body for anything else. No, just do your normal dress and then go. So I went there. She asked me, the very first question she asked me was, um, how um, my teeth, about my teeth is the things I did in university, my bachelor for my bachelor's. I remember the the topic but I didn't remember the whole thing. So I couldn't answer that question well. And the second question she asked me I did economics, so she asked me principles of economics. And I remember the only three, so that's what I mentioned to her. And so the rest I didn't remember and then I felt like that question those two questions I didn't I wasn't able to answer it well. So I was, uh, later on, I became like a bit worried even during the interview questions. I mean, the first two questions you were not able to answer correctly. And then what are you doing? Like, what are the rest of the questions going to be like? So I was, uh, from, I think from the first two questions, I wasn't okay. I was not myself. But then the rest of the questions I was able to answer correctly and well. Um, she asked me about the course I'm coming to do um so she asked me the modules for the very first semester so i think you should learn the modules you should know um the number of years your courses um and the modules especially for the very first semester please <laughs> i beg di baba if you can do baba di baba i mean you don't understand what i mean here yeah. do it because i did i did it for myself i remembered all my modules and then she asked me about um after school what next so personally i you don't have to tell them that after school you're going to stay in germany there is no way they are going to give you a visa <laughs> if you do that i mean i had heard people talk about it and i was asked the same question so i told him i told her you know what after school i'm coming back to my country to focus on my businesses here and all of that i mean it depends on whatever excuse you give you don't have to give the same excuse as i gave them and i give them she asked me what kind of job i do so i listed them that i'm a youtuber uh, i do beading and all of that so i said it was like oh that's fine that's cool and then she asked me about i think um why germany why did i choose germany and then i answered that question too apparently that was it and the only thing that made me wasted much time inside was the my fingerprint this particular finger wasn't picking the machine and i didn't know why and the lady kept on shouting at me i was i was so frustrated i was so scared and i didn't know if my visa would be given to me or not I mean, <laughs> after visa, after the visa interview, like you can't really have a comfortable sleep. I swear, it was a whole lot of stress throughout the whole process. So, I remember I went home after the interview, and my dad asked me how it was. The very first person I spoke to was my dad, of course. I mean, he I have been through all the stages with him. After I told him about my admission, so um, I told I called him and I was like, "Daddy, I'm done with it. Like, how did you go?" I was like, "I, don't, I couldn't answer the first two questions, bro, well, but I'm just praying. The rest of the questions I was able to answer, so I'm just praying that everything will succeed." So, and then before then, I have heard that if they call you within one week or three days to come for your passport, it means it didn't go through. 
so i wanted a three days to pass so badly it was i think i went for my interview on wednesday and on uh, monday the following monday i didn't hear from them i was super happy because like I, I was feeling a bit excited but see i've not still seen my passports i have to see it before so later later i um i think two weeks it took me at least 16 days or so yeah might take 16 days for them to call me um so i think it was a wednesday they they sent me a mail on wednesday they didn't call it was a mail that i received so i received the mail that i have to um submit my travel insurance document and my flight ticket visa Beijing. that day was actually the the happiest day. i remember i was taking these pictures that day and i was feeling myself when i saw the email i'm like who what i started shouting and i was at home with my big brother so i went to i went to here and i was shouting i was super excited i'm like i'm going i'm leaving you here i'm so excited i went i when my dad came i was so excited to bring the news to my phone because like i knew it was a dream country even though i've not seen the visa that if you receive that email alone just forget like just relax yeah you're good to go so it was it was one of the happiest moments and i i i can never forget that day my excitement and then it came with another trouble good this traveling process thing wasn't an easy thing with accommodation issues and all of that it was never an easy thing so yes i went to they made me i i did my insurance put the local one and the foreign one i submitted both and then yeah um i was asked to come for my passport on the 9th of august i remember that day very well and then i went for my passport and that was it i went for my passport and i remember when i was entering the passport room my, my document was on the table and the guy was just the guy mentioned my name like okay i'm Dorcas and she was just gonna be like this is my passport because i could see my face there it felt like okay god has already placed my my, my passport in front for like because like he knew i'm traveling i have to leave the country so i saw my passport and i was still i was so excited i checked it was ah! <laughs> i called i i immediately took pictures i sent it to my dad and i sent it to the guy who applied the school for me and then i had to balance him so i just made payment afterwards and i was in the car and the only song i was singing during that time i think it was raining yesterday i went for my passport it was raining so i was i was walking through the rain like i didn't even care that i would get wet or i'll get sick because like that was the happiest moment so at that point i wasn't thinking straight all i was like i'm just happy i'm in my happy mood so i ordered my boy straight to the house and when I got down, the song that I was singing was like, So much I didn't know me, yeah, yeah. I see down, we feel my cool man in the dark. I mean, that was, that was, that was super, I was super excited because that was the best feeling ever. I had my passport and, and yeah. I, I went home and yeah the, the rest of the things that happened it was just like one way or the other shopping stress and all of that so basically that was all about the visa issues that I had and the kind of questions that I was asked about the whole thing so basically that's all about this I hope you, you at least get some of the questions that you needed from this video. Okay, so if you're about to go for your interview, I wish you all the, the very best from the bottom of my I wish you the very best. And I pray you also get the chance to travel because like, I wish everybody could travel. Honestly speaking, I don't regret at all. Don't let, see if you get the chance to travel, please, I beg. Don't think twice about it if you have the means just do it okay
the best decision I have ever made and I don't regret it one bit. Okay, so thank you for watching my video. See you in my next video. Bye.